Astronomers have found a planet that seems to be far too big for the star that it's going around. The planet in question is at least 13 times as massive as Earth, but it orbits a star that weighs nine times less than the Sun. The discovery seems to fly in the face of current theories of planet formation. LHS 3154 is an ultra-cool star that lies about 51 light-years from the Sun. It's among the coolest, dimmest, smallest stars known, yet it's accompanied by a Neptune-sized world going around it in a very small orbit, once every 3.7 days. Researchers found the oversized planet, named LHS 3154 b, using a spectrograph built at Penn State University. The instrument, called the Habitable Zone Planet Finder, is designed to detect planets with the potential to have liquid water on their surfaces in orbit around the coolest of red dwarfs. Because the habitable zones of ultra-cool stars are so compact, any planets in these zones have to be in very small orbits. The small gap between the planet and its star as seen from Earth, combined with the low mass of the star, makes it easier to detect the planet. This is done by looking for small changes in the position of lines in the star spectrum as the star is tugged slightly back and forth by the planet as it goes around. The Habitable Zone Planet Finder attached to the Hobby Eberly Telescope at the McDonald Observatory in Texas is providing some of the highest precision measurements to date of such signals from nearby dwarf stars. But now to the mystery. How can a star as light as LHS 3154 have a planet that weighs nearly as much as Neptune in such a small orbit? To understand why that's a problem, we have to remember how stars come about in the first place. They form from large clouds of gas and dust. After they've formed, the gas and dust that's left over settles into a disk of material from which planets can eventually develop. The trouble is, the planet-forming disks around low-mass stars aren't expected to contain a lot of dust and gas, and this ties in with the observation that most of the planets detected around red dwarfs to date are small rocky worlds, Earth-sized or smaller. But LHS 3154b is 13 times as massive as Earth, and it's in a small circular orbit which means it almost certainly formed more or less where it is today. It must have a large, heavy core, and the question is, where did the material for that core come from? Current models of planet formation, supported by observations of planet-forming disks, suggest that a star like LHS 3154 ought not to have had enough dust in its circumstellar disk to make the planet we see today. Astronomers will need to go back to the drawing board on this one. They'll need to question their assumptions about how much dust there can be in the disks that surround infant lightweight stars. According to present understanding, there's about 10 times too little solid material to explain a planet like LHS 3154 b. One possibility is that when we look at images of protoplanetary disks, there's a lot more dust, and therefore planet-making potential, than meets the eye. 